Hello and welcome everyone. Wonder Woman is one of DC classic trinity, along with Batman and Superman, and she has been at the forefront of everything the company has done. Having left her home and her fellow Amazons of Themyscira, Diana became a superhero when she entered the real world, fighting with powers given to her by the divine might of the Olympian gods. The Amazons are shown to be more powerful than average humans, capable of incredible physical feats. However, Diana is more powerful than the rest of the Amazons, a fact she discovers when she must scale the wall of the Amazon stronghold to steal the iconic costume and tool she will use in battle. Superhealing has been one of Wonder Woman's many strengths in the comics and in the films. But in this video we are not talking about her powers and abilities. We are going to talk about how to kill her once and for all. And we even see her dead in the future visions of Cyborgs and Snyder's Cut Justice League. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an upcoming update. With that out of the way let's get started with the video. We first have to talk about Batman and Game by Scott Snyder. This comic book opens with Batman being attacked by the Justice League after we learn that the Joker has perfected his toxin. The fight culminates with Batman making it to his Justice Buster armor which is basically built to bring justice. Batman actually manages to beat Wonder Woman before getting into it. And Batman does so by using an ancient cerebral relic as the bind of veils. In the movie Wonder Woman 1984, Diana says that her power mainly comes from the lasso of truth, which is a pure symbol of truth. Wonder Woman is seen as the embodiment of truth and her latest movie even ends with her using the idea of truth in order to defeat Maxwell Lord. Thus the best way to defeat her is through the power of lies, and Batman manages to do this in Endgame by making her believe that she has won, so the Amazonian goddess gives up the fight. However, in this situation, she was not killed. And in this video, we have to discuss how to kill Wonder Woman once and for all. Moving forward, Batman has developed another way to take down Wonder Woman. Now that must get you thinking. What a great teammate Batman really is. A true imposter in the Justice League. The one that absolutely trusts nobody. In the comic book story Justice League Tower of Babel, we discover that Batman doesn't truly trust any of his teammates in the Justice League. And he had planned a contingency plan for the entire league, in case any of them went rogue. This story was adapted in Justice League Doom. Bruce had big things planned for Wonder Woman in the storyline. Whereas in Endgame, Bruce had her believe that she had won. In this one he actually made her hallucinate that she was facing an opponent that would not die. Every person that Wonder Woman came across, she thought them to be the villain that would just not die. And because Diana was trained to never give up, she attacked everyone. She fought everyone as she went around on a rampage. This then alarmed other members of the League, and Diana fought the members of the Justice League too. Now since Diana won't give up no matter what the situation, no matter how exhausted she is. And because of this, she may die because of cardiac arrest, or she might become weak enough that she might be killed by strangling. In Joker issue 10, the Clown Prince turned Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth against her and used it to kill her. Lasso of Truth is Diana's most trusted weapon and is also her biggest weakness. As it has been said in Wonder Woman 1984, the weapon is powerful than she is and is capable of killing her if used correctly. And Joker does exactly that. And for some reason, if that doesn't seem to do the job, then you can use powerful weapons of gods. And these have been used against her in the comics. In the new 52 Earth 2 Volume 1 book, Diana was actually killed by Steppenwolf who thrust his gigantic sword through her back. This killed Wonder Woman. But in Zack Snyder's Justice League we have seen Steppenwolf's weapon brutally destroyed by Superman and it did nothing to Superman, not even a scratch. So it would be interesting to see how she actually dies in the Snyderverse, if someday the Warner Brothers decide to restore the Snyderverse. And with that we will bring this video to an end. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.